A very good morning to you all. When Steve Jobs was 20 years old, he had found Apple from his parents' garage with his venture partner, Steven Wozniak. At 30, when Apple had just released what Jobs called their finest creation, the Macintosh, the previous year, he gets fired from the company he found. Looking back, this is what Jobs had to say. I caught. I didn't see it then, but it turned out that getting fired from Apple was the best thing that could have ever happened to me. The heaviness of being successful was replaced by the lightness of being a beginner again, less sure about everything. It freed me to enter one of the most creative periods of my life. Standing tall, surrounding by scenic views of Badulla, Uwabelasi University was established in June 2005 as the 14th National University of Sri Lanka, with the vision to be the center of excellence for value addition to the national resource base of the country. And today, on behalf of the Uwabelasi University, we warmly welcome you to the student integration program of its 16th batch of students. To commence today's proceedings by lighting the traditional oil lamp, I cordially invite Professor Jayantala Ratnasekara, the Vice Chancellor of UWU, Professor HMSK Herat, Dean, Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture, Professor HMJC Pitavala, Dean, Faculty of Applied Earth Sciences, Mr. G. H. Abevira, Dean, Faculty of Management, Professor K. B. Vijay Sekara, Dean, Faculty of Technological Studies, Registrar, Mr. Hibatul Karim, Bursa, Ms. Taranga Pereira, the Acting Librarian, Dr. K. M. R. K. Kulatunga, Senior Student Counselor, Mr. Jagat Kulatilaka, and Student Union President, Mr. Hirantha Madhushan. Let us now rise for the university anthem.
Cordially invite Mr. M. F. Hibatul Karim, the Registrar of ULS University, to welcome the gathering. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Vice Chancellor, sir, deans of the faculty, deans of the faculties in the head table, acting librarian, the bursa, all professors, all Senate members all academic staff members and administrative staff members, dear union representatives, dear parents and my dear students. It's indeed a great pleasure to be with you all this morning. Even though we are undergoing a difficult situation in the country, but still we are used to the situation now. We have to be used to the situation now. It's my duty to welcome you all, the 16th generation to the Uwa Wellness University of Sri Lanka. You all are very fortunate and double fortunate to be with us at Uwa Wellness University. You all know that the students are undergoing a difficult situation, even the schools, the universities, and the vocational and technological places. But still, universities are not given up their studies to teaching to the students. With the difficulties, we are now adapted new technologies to deliver the lectures and other 
practicals to the students. You all are fortunate, actually, because you all know that you all, you all have been selected to the university with a great competition. With that competition, you have been selected to the universities. You all are lucky that you all are selected to the UWLS University of Sri Lanka. I must be thankful you all to you all because you all chosen the UWLS University to study here. At this year, we are offering 15 undergraduate programs. You all are very fortunate because UWLS University is offering all the degree programs with a flavor of entrepreneurial skills. Because UWLS University is an entrepreneurial university, and the first entrepreneurial university in Sri Lanka started way back in 2005. We started, we admitted the students in 2006. From that day onwards, we are producing graduates who are very capable, knowledgeable, and talented students, those who are contributing immensely to the development of the country. And we hope that you all, after graduating from the university, will be able to contribute to the development of the country. Today, a Tuesday, because we normally disregard any days as an unproductive day, because all the days are very productive days. Sometimes people may think that why we started on Tuesday. That's why I said all the days are productive days. We have to make all the days productive for us. So, I hope that you will stay in the university in the next four years or so. will be very productive for you all as well as to the country. I hope we have a very young and energetic staff members in the academic side as well as in the administrative side. So they all are ready to help you all. As a register, I can assure that my side of the departments, administrative departments, especially student services department, examination, and other departments are always ready to help you all in any difficult situations you face during your career at the university. First, uh, I think, uh, first six months or so will be on online mode because situation is very difficult to get you all down here to the university physically, but we are trying at an utmost effort to bring you all at earliest possible time to the university physically to teach you all or to make you aware of the university. So hope that you can bear up with us and uh, the lectures will be the integration program will be started from tomorrow, I think. So you have to be engaged in the program and you will get the knowledge about the university. Our lecturers and others will be teaching you all, will be educating you all about the university and the culture, how the university is working in the system. So I hope that you all can get a good knowledge and good experience once you come to the university. I know that you all are very eager to come to the university physically to see the university. Everybody who visited the university first time never forgot the university's environment and the way and the culture the university behaves. So I hope that once you all come to the university, I assure that you will not leave the place until you finish your degree program. So it's my pleasure that you'll be with us for the next four years. And I humbly request the parents to send your students to the universities to teach, to learn the subject. Because sometimes students feel that it's very difficult to go and study, no matter. Difficulties are there for everybody, but difficulties are temporary. There will be a solution for the all difficulties in the near future. We believe that uh, that will be sorted out very soon. So. We hope that you all can have a very nice and pleasant stay at the OVLS University. Once again, I welcome you all, all those who are present at this uh, uh, wonderful uh, uh, boardroom and as well as who are on air, that's listening uh, via our online program, the students and the parents. I once again welcome you all uh, to this program and welcoming all the students who are going to come to the university in the near future and wish you all a very good uh, stay at the university and have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you, sir. It's my pleasure to invite Professor Jayantala Radna Sekara, the Vice Chancellor of the World as University, to speak a few words. Sir, the podium is yours.
Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, deans of faculties and other academic colleagues, registrar, bursa, acting librarian, and other administrative staff members, non-academic staff, students' representatives, and dear new students, those who are joining us via YouTube. On behalf of the OLSC University, let me also warmly welcome you all again to the OLSC University and the UW family. We all know that, as the registrar said, that you have been admitted to the university after going through a very competitive examination, which is GC advanced level examination. Based on the 2019 advanced level results, 41,641 students were admitted to the university, 16 national universities, excluding the Open University. And that is out of 181,206 qualified students. In other words, only 22.6% students, those who have been qualified, were admitted actually to the universities. So it means that, dear new students, that you are a very privileged and a special class. You are very much privileged to be admitted to follow a high quality undergraduate degree, which is again free of charge. Don't forget that not all the countries in the world offer undergraduate degrees free of charge, even the developed countries. Therefore, it is essential that you get the maximum use of this golden opportunity provided to you during next four years. You should not waste your time in making others, but learning and getting the maximum use of these four years in the university. University is a place where you learn to do solid work, you learn to make independent and intelligent decisions. University is a place where the Overall, the human being is developed with broad attitudes, perspectives, skills, and knowledge. As far as I am concerned, the university is a place where you learn and get the knowledge and skills about the universe as a whole. Like the universe does not have any boundaries, it is unlimited. The university education should also not be limited by several barriers. As far as the OLS University is concerned, as the registrar mentioned, OLS University was established in 2005 as an entrepreneurial university, as well as with a clear vision to be the center of excellence for value addition to the national resource base in Sri Lanka. All our 15 degree programs are aimed at producing employable, technocratic, and well-rounded citizens who can make a significant contribution for the national development of the country. During this short period of existence, during the last 17 years, Uvalasa University has proved that our graduates are of exceptional quality, very high quality, and the high employable rates of our graduates is a clear evidence for that. We at the Uvalasi University, staff and the students call ourselves as UW family. So dear new students, from today, you have become the members of the UW family. Respect and tolerance, goal orientation, equal opportunity, discipline, and entrepreneurship are the core values of the UOLS family, UW family. So we expect that during next four years, you will ensure that you will maintain those qualities as well as you will be integrated to the UW family. We expect that you maintain that the quality that we have been maintaining for the during last 17 years. I assure that you will not regret for becoming a UW family member after four years. So make a promise to yourself that you will not waste these four years and make your life at the university a happy and enjoyable and a memorable one. Wish you all the best and 
as Registrar said, hope to see you physically at the UW premises very soon. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, sir. UVLSC University comprises of four faculties that work towards molding daring entrepreneurs out of its undergraduates. We are honored to have the respective deans to introduce their faculty to you now. Mr. G.H. Abevira, Dean, Faculty of Management. Sir, you are invited to introduce your faculty. Thank you. Uh, very good morning to you all. Vice Chancellor, Registrar, Deans of Faculties, Directors, Bursa, Acting Librarian, Heads of Departments, Professors, all the academic and administrative officers, all other staff members, dear students, parents, well-wishers, and ladies and gentlemen. As it goes with the tradition, on behalf of the Faculty of Management, I warmly welcome you all to the Uwellasa University of Sri Lanka. The Faculty of Management having established at the inception of this university, thereby claiming the oldest faculty claims for a prominent faculty reaching for its highest employability. So we have four departments of studies headed by four heads of departments, out of which uh, three departments of uh, most demanding degree programs, producing innovative, competitive, and highly motivated graduates to the world of work. I must particularly mention the fact behind all our success, the faculty is comprised with a group of young, dynamic, industrious, and well-qualified academics ever prepared to dedicate for its development. Dear students, we consider you to be invaluable gems found on this earth by your beloved parents. And with much trustworthiness and reliability, you have been handed over to UW to add value. We have our technicians with various qualifications and skills with different tags, such as professors, doctors, lecturers, and many more to give different shapes to their, with their dexterity and to release you to the world of work for greater demand. Today, 28th June 2022 marks a remarkable and historical day in your lives, as well as the lives of your parents. Since you are enrolled in respective study programs after securing high learning seats in a unique, differently themed, and differently envisioned university named OLS University. For this, you all must be proud of your achievement. At the same time, you must not forget that there are hundreds of thousands of students outside being qualified at the university entrance as very correctly Vice Chancellor said with figures, but unable to enroll into a university due to limited facilities in the universities, but not because of their fault. Thus, every student registered here must determine to reap the maximum benefits from this golden opportunity secured, else you are committing another opportunity of a deserving student. You might uh, wonder what this man is speaking about vision, mission, and theme. The first assignment I am giving you all today is to study what is meant by vision, mission, and theme in relation to OLS University, and study the importance of them, and formulate a motto, a vision, a mission to your life, so that you would pursue and succeed in it. Mold in your character, and the personality not to dance to different tunes of external elements, but to tread on your own path to realize your vision. Okay, while welcoming you all on behalf of the Faculty of Management, 
I wish you good luck and all the very best for your studies. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. To introduce the Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture, I invite the Faculty's Dean, Professor H.M.S.K. Herat, to the podium, sir. Very good morning, everybody, Vice Chancellor, deans of the faculties, and also all the academic staff members, including acting librarian, registrar, bursar, and all the non-academic staff members, and more importantly, dear students who are joining today as the 16th batch of UVLS University. So I take this opportunity at the beginning to welcome you all for the university again, and also especially those who are joining with the Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture representing five degree programs to the faculty. So you have made the right choice, I guess. So we, we thank you for trusting us and you know, selecting Uwe Wellas University and also the Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture for your higher studies. So at the beginning, as Vice Chancellor told and also the other, other speakers discussed, I think we are in a kind of dilemma. So during the last two years, more than two years actually, we were experiencing COVID-19. And thereafter now we are in a different kind of situation. So during these two periods, so we as a university, I think we have succeeded. So we have given the best that we can do for the university on one hand, and also for the students who are, who are studying in the university. We have no any delay especially related to the academic activities. Therefore, I think you are lucky to be in Uwe University as the 16th batch of the Uwe University. So Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture, which is one of the three faculties we established at the beginning of the inception of Uwe University in the year 2005. So I have to say, in single, actually, we call our, our faculty as Satta Palana Vidya Apanayana Krushikarma Pitaya. So that is the single name that's a bit different compared to the other faculties, agriculture faculties in, in the country. But yeah, we are doing more or less similar works in relation to agriculture. So we are, as, as a faculty, as the university, we are in a journey to be the center of excellence for value addition to the national resources base. So in that task, the Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture has a duty to cover the agriculture and related aspects. Therefore, within the faculty, we have selected and we have been engaging in teaching and learning activities and also research and outreach activities covering all the undergraduates, the postgraduates, and also the extramural students who are joining with us during last couple of years, or last 16 to 17 years. So we mainly emphasize on value addition, as the other speakers told, we focus on agriculture and related aspects. And also our, our approach as the faculty is through, or we, we want to involve the scientific and emerging technological approaches in our all teaching and learning activities and also in research. When it comes to the faculty, we have two departments, Department of Animal Science and also the Department of Export Agriculture. These departments were also established at the beginning of the university or in the year 2005. We have unique degree programs, five unique degree programs, Bachelor of Science Honours in Animal Production and Food Technology, Bachelor of Science Honours in Export Agriculture, Bachelor of Science Honours in Tea Technology and Value Addition, Bachelor of Science Owners in Palm and Latex Technology and Value Addition, Bachelor of Science Owners in Aquatic Resources Technology. So those are the five degree programs we offer as the faculty under the two departments. So if you take the format of these five four programs are more or less same. So we are going from the basics to the advanced courses throughout your four years, four years study time in the university. 
So in addition to providing basic information, so as, as a university we cover broad general education and also the essential skills development. So we have embedded or we have inculcated this into the degree program so that you get extra things when you pass out from, you know, from Uwavellas University. And other than that, to provide the realistic environmental exposure and experience in the field of agriculture and related aspects, we have included a field training program, an industrial pro training program, and also a research component in your degree program, all degree programs. So all are four years degree programs covering eight semesters. Therefore, we have arranged the academic activities in a way that you, you get all the necessary skills uh, and knowledge and skills needed for you to cater the demand of the country and also beyond the country. As a faculty, our strength is the human resources. I have to say we have 75 plus academic staff members in the faculty. We have 33 PhDs, including five professor, seven professors. Therefore, I think as, as the human resources, we are stronger than the other people, I have to say. So we want to use these resources for you. And we have the laboratories established in a way that your programs can be continued or can be carried out to get the maximum of these programs. So our expectation is to provide you with the quality education. Therefore, I hope the, all the facilities that we have as the university and also as the faculty can be used for the betterment of your studies. So during the last seven to eight years, if you have a look back to the, our faculty, so we have achieved a lot, especially in, in the research. So I have to say our, our lecturers have won many awards and we have been selected as the topmost faculty in terms of agriculture in the year 2015 and 16 for their commitment in research and related activities. So my message today is to you is please take this opportunity to integrate into the faculty and also to the university. This is the most important thing that we expect and over the time you will realize how you should spend time in the university and what you should get from the university. So everything has been arranged so that you can get the maximum from the universities. So after, or from today onwards, you will be officially linked or joined with the university. Therefore, whenever you go, wherever you go, you take the image of the university or the faculty. Therefore, I urge from all these newcomers, please commit or give your fullest support to build up the image of the university and also the faculty. And give the priority for your academics activities, which is the most important thing, and that is, how, that is what you have been recruited for this university. And other than that, you have to enjoy with the life in Uwavellas University by doing some extracurricular activities, some other activities during these four years time period. Because then only at the end of the day, you can see that other than the knowledge, you will have gained some, you have improved some of your skills and also you have changed your attitudes needed for the country and also for the world. So without taking much time, I, I wish you all the best for joining with Uwavellas University and also especially in these five degree programs offered by the Faculty of Animal Science and Export Agriculture. So as the Vice Chancellor and Registrar told, hope you will be able to join with us very soon physically. So we expected you to have here in physically, but due to the current situation, we have to do this. So in this year, actually, we have to say that you are a little early compared to your seniors. Last time we have held the integration program in August 16. So here, this time we have taken it little earlier, so you have that advantage also. So thank you very much for listening to me and I wish you all the best again for the newcomers, the new students. So have a wonderful time in Uwavellas University and take the image of the university to the country and also to the world. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.
Professor H. M. J. C. Pitavala, Dean, Faculty of Applied Sciences. Uh, over to you, sir. Very good morning to all of you. Uh, Vice Chancellor, sir, deans, and all the Senate members, Registrar, Acting Librarian, Bursa, all academic, administrative, and non academic staff members, Senior Student Counselor and Faculty Coordinators, Student Union representatives, my dear students, and their parents. I also welcome you all, not only for the Faculty of Applied Sciences, other uh, students engaged in other faculties as well. So today is a, another special day for UWU, since we today managed to engage a new branch for UWU family tree. Uh, Vice Chancellor and Registrar mentioned that the competition that we have in advanced level. I will also take a few minutes to uh, discuss the matter. Uh, according to the statistics of UGC, uh, in 1990, the percentage of uh, eligible students for university was 45% from the total students set for the A-level. In 1990, it was 45%. And uh, in 2020, it has increased up to 62. I am talking about the eligible students for the university, not selected. Among them, the selected percentage in 1990 is 16%. In 2020, it is 23%. So I am talking about the 30 years period. So when we see the, uh, the eligibility has increased by 17%. However, the admission has increased only the 7%. So this is clearly shows us the competition that you have. Therefore, you are a uh, cream of the uh, students in our country. So, uh, I take this opportunity to uh, tell you, you the university life will change your life and please build up your career. That is the need of your parents and also us as teachers. Uh, today, my main role is to uh, introduce our faculty. Our, the faculty mission is, uh, the mission of the faculty is to support the degree program to advance knowledge, particularly on value addition to the national resource base through excellent teaching, high quality research, and outstanding outreach activities. So, we, we have three departments, namely Department of Science and Technology, Department of Computer Science and Informatics, Department of Applied Earth Sciences. This department we uh, started very recently. So I will take some time to uh, discuss the degree programs. Under the Department of Science and Technology, we offer BSc Honors in Science and Technology degree program uh, in this, this, this degree program, there is a specialty because first two years, we learn common subjects, physics, chemistry, biology, mathematics, and some engineering course units. Then third year onwards, you can select a specialization area. Uh, those specialization areas are food engineering and bioprocess technology, material science and mechatronics. Under the Department of Computer Science and Technology, we are offering two degree programs, BSc Honors in Computer Science and Technology and BSc Honors in Industrial Information Technology. 
Under the Department of Applied Earth Sciences, we offer BSc Honors in Mineral Resources and Technology degree program. In this degree program also, uh, we can see a similarity uh, with the uh, degree offered by Department of Science and Technology. Uh, in first two years, you will learn uh, basic courses or fundamental courses. Of course, we know without fundamental science, we cannot go further. Uh, after third year, uh, again, you will select for two specialization areas, mineral processing technology or water science and technology. Uh, I am very happy to say that uh, the employability of our students is around or above 90 percent. A little bit about uh, study program, uh, as other faculties mentioned, in our faculty also, we have a research project and also industrial training uh, end of the uh, fourth year. So this industrial training will help our students to find their jobs very easily. And also, uh, all other faculties do, in our study programs also, we have incorporated broad general education and essential skills course units. Uh, little bit about the human resources we have in our faculty. I am very glad to tell that uh, we have very young staff members. We have 66 permanent staff members in our faculty. Among 66 uh, staff members, we have 28 PhD holders. Among them, we have seven professors. So, as previous speakers clearly mentioned, uh, take this four years valuable period to build up your career. Please don't stay only in classroom. There are more facilities in the university. So you can do sports, music, you can engage into uh, student societies. So this will make and this will enhance your teamwork, soft skills, etc. Therefore, finally, I would like to say university life make your life. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you very much, sir. Finally, I invite Professor K.B. Vijay Sekara to introduce the Faculty of Technological Studies. Good morning, Vice Chancellor, Deans of the Head Table, members of the Senate, Registrar and other administrative staff members, students, parents, ladies and gentlemen. I warmly welcome you all for the UW family. You know what it means by now. We will ask the university family. And together with all my staff colleagues at the Faculty of Technological Studies, let me extend warm welcome to all the students who enroll with the Faculty of Technological Studies today. Today we mark a very important event in our academic calendar where we enroll the 16th batch of students to Olasa University and six batch to the Faculty of Technological Studies. So that gives you the idea that we are a new faculty. We established in 2017 officially, but we started offering degree programs in 2016. For the time being, we have two departments, Department of Biosystems Technology and Department of Engineering Technology. However, we offer three degree programs, Bachelor of Biosystems Technology Honors, Bachelor of Engineering Technology Honors, and Bachelor of Information and Communication Technology Honors. At the moment, 
Bachelor of Information and Communication Technology degree program is offered under the Dean's office or headed by the Dean, but very soon we are expecting to establish the third department, Department of Information and Communication Technology. We are waiting for the Gazette notification to appear and towards the end of this year, we'll be establishing the third one and transfer BICT degree program to that department. This year, we enrolled 334 students, 117 to BST degree program, 118 to BET, 99 to BICT, altogether 334. So in 2016, we enrolled only 172 students. So after five years, you have seen, you, you can see that we have doubled the intake. Last year, two important events happened to our faculty. The first one is that our first batch of graduates passed out. I'm happy to inform you that large majority of them are now well employed in leading public and private sector institutes. The second important thing happened to our faculty is that we, we commissioned a new building to the faculty where we have few laboratories, lecture halls, not the total amount that we would like to have, but I should inform you that those laboratories and lecture halls are state of the art and you will be benefiting uh, these facilities when you are physically here. So by selecting our university and our faculty, I believe that you have made the right choice. I invite you all to make the best of the opportunity you have been given to pursue higher education at our university, in our faculty. So tomorrow, we will have separate meetings with you all to give you more details about the degree programs, how they line up, and also we will take a Q&A &A session with you so then you can sort out some of the issues that you may have. And several of you have written emails to me asking what would happen after this inauguration. Right. Uh, whether you will have lectures tomorrow. So I should say that the lectures will not start immediately. After this program, there starts another program called pre-intensive course where you will be taught mathematics, English, and will be given several selected, uh, several lectures on selected topics. So that will run for several weeks at the end of that program only that will start the academic program. So once again, I wish you all the success with your studies and hope that you will have an enjoyable university life. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Thank you very much, sir. And now I would like to invite Mr. Jagat Kulatilaka, the senior students counselor, to address the new students. Good morning to all. South African vision leader Nelson Mandela has said, education is the most powerful weapon to change the world. Having said that, in a crucial day and very important day for you, my dear students, let me start my speech. Honorable Vice Chancellor, Deans of Faculties, Registrar, Bursa, Acting Librarian, Senate members, including all senior academics, all admin administrative staff members, coordinator, student integration program 2022, and all faculty coordinators and organizing committee, president, student union, my dear students who are watching this program online via YouTube, and dear parents, ladies and gentlemen. So it is a great honor for me to welcome 
16 generation of students to the UW family as the senior student counselor. So uh, I assure that within short time period, we would like to take you physically into the university premises with the permission of all these invitees and especially the authority who are gathering here. So uh, we wish that, yes, we can take you into the, this wonderful and lovely campus. But uh, also we would like to tell you that as uh, academics as well as the, with the support of all these administrative and supporting staff, we would like to continue your studies starting from today and there will be many other programs which will be telecasted live via YouTube as well as via Zoom platform. So uh, we'll take uh, our maximum effort to make it uh, a useful one, beneficial one, and also uh, we'll try to ensure the smooth functioning of the education hereafter, which is going to be started from tomorrow onwards. So as the student counselor, I would like to mention here that Hereafter, since you are uh, UW family members, there will be uh, four faculty uh, deputies in, uh, student counselors assigned to each faculty. And uh, we have started our communication already. I think you got it. So uh, they are through different, different platforms like WhatsApp group and through email communication. We will stay connected. So feel free to contact uh, when you find any academic matter, uh, relevant matter then you can contact student counselors in each faculty. Also, there are two uh, other student counselors assigned to each faculty. So as a team, we will uh, all there to support you to uh, education starting from tomorrow. And also, I would like to mention that uh, there will be a mentoring program starting uh, very soon. There will be a assigned mentor for each and every student also, uh, there will be academic counselor uh, guided by all the senior academics and other academic staff members. Also, there is a, a career counseling center where you can get uh, the help and guidance for your career building and uh, developing your path here. Also, I would like to add that uh, the campus life you are going to start from today will be a wonderful one even though we are going to meet in cyberspace. So we will, uh, not only the lectures we are going to conduct, but there will be many other programs, including some other entertainment programs. Uh, they will, uh, those programs will be conducted by academics and also uh, by uh, invited guests, not only from the university, but also by the uh, invited guests from the industry as well as uh, you will be able to listen to pass out students who is working in the industry. So there will be different, different programs. So I would like to request you all to stay with this uh, integration program starting from today onwards. And uh, finally, I would like to mention uh, not only all these studies, but there will be many other activities. Uh, we uh, say that uh, extracurricular and co-curricular activities so uh, there are many programs uh, conducting within faculties as well as uh, within the whole university. I would uh, like to mention few of them. So uh, even though you are staying uh, connecting online, we will start uh, joining you to the, these online functions as well as events online. And also you can join club and societies. I will name few. We have uh, art club. Uh, which uh, conduct Manusatthanda Art Festival and all. It has uh, five circles, uh, mainly music, dancing, drama, cinema, and announcing circles. So you can join them. And uh, we have Rotary Club, Junior Club of the uh, Rotary International. And the Leo Club, uh, which is the uh, Junior Club of Lions International, will start very soon. And we have Ella Club, English Language Academy, Gavel Club, which conduct phonic tourney, internet university, uh, competition for the first time. We have IEEE Club and UWNET, a nature ex explorer team, and several other clubs like Agro Club, Aqua Club. In management faculty, we have uh, HT Club, which conducts Obaru and Galena Festival. We have an exchange marketing club, 
And also many other program we uh, conduct anybody like Nanasata Arnal by MRT and Vidunim Sara by SCT and also Nanasara by T Technology uh, degree program. So there are many I, I just mentioned only few. And also you can, uh, you have your senior student support. There is a main student union. Also there are four uh, faculty student unions. Uh, your senior students will assist you and will help you and also will guide you. There will be separate sessions conducted by the student union also. Uh, other information uh, will uh, give by uh, president of the student union uh, today. So finally, uh, I would like to mention that uh, there are 20 sports uh, playing and uh, students are engaging. And in university level, inter-university uh, level, we have 22 games. So in OLS University, we have 20 sports, both indoor and outdoor. So once you come to the university, you can, jo you can uh, uh, join those sports teams also. Right, so uh, to my, before I wind up my speech, uh, so uh, please pass this message. This, uh, due to this uh, ongoing situation, we will conduct the whole program online. There may be students who are missing and who will find difficulties to join the program. So let us know. So uh, also there are, since this is played via YouTube, so then uh, we'll try to at least send them uh, via email. We'll, we'll find a way to send you the recorded ones of all these programs. So make sure everyone get the message and everyone stay connected during this integration program. So having said that, uh, finally, I would like to again warmly welcome 16th generation of uh, OLS University to the UW family. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. And now, Mr. Hiranth Madhushan, the president of the Students Union of OLS University, will address you all. Good morning, all of you, Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir, deans of the faculties, heads of the de departments, senior student counselor, registrar, bursa, acting librarian, and all the academic and non academic staff members. As the president of the main students' union of Huavellas University, first of all, I would like to give my warm wishes to the newcomers of our university. Uwellas University is well known as an entrepreneurial university. As an entrepreneurial university, we have produced so many valuable resource persons to the job market. Therefore, I think you have a wonderful chance to continue your academic activities with us. I believe this will be a golden opportunity for your life career. Finally, again, all of you are warmly welcome to the UWU family. Adarniya Nangi Malli, Uavellasa Vishavidaliya Mahashisha Sangame, Sabapatilisa, Hetadina Sita Adhyanakatu Arambakarna, Apagi Navashisha Kandayama, Itamat Adare Nyuktava, Uavellasa Vishavidaliata, Mapiliganu Labanova. Vartamane Rate Pavatina Arbudakari Tatya Mata, Me Vedasatahana, Apata, Sum Takshan of Se Sidukaranata Uat, Mang Hitanawa, Apita Itamat Ikmanin, Ogolote Kaikatuela, Loku Vedakotasak, Apeme Visha with the Aleta, Ista Sid the Karanapuanga Ikela. Adan in Angimali, Uavilla Savisha with the Alegan Kianavanam, Sri Lanka with Yena, Sitalama, Eva Gema, Pera the Nieta Nodeveni, Sundaratiak Saita Visha with the Alectama, Ape Visha with the Ale. Itin, Mama Visa Sakarnoa. Oigolontame Labicha Avastava, Oigolange, Givite, Itamat Vedagat Sandistane Aque Etecama Adani Nangi Malie, Ape Upakula Vatuma, Etecama, Pita di Patiorun Sandahan Karava Gema, Jester Sisa, Upade Sekutuma, Sandahan Karava Gema, Obalagi, Sialuma, Karta Vianuladi, May Vishavid Dalie. Adena, Anadena Karamandle, Obalat Samogasitno. 
ඒ විශ්වාසය ඒ වගකීම මට ඔයලස විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ මහාසි සංගමේ සභාපති ලෙස ඔයගොල්ලන්ට දෙන්න පුළුවන්කම තියෙනවා. ඒ මොකද අපි මේ වෙනකොටත් අත්විඳිනවා අනෙකුත් විශ්වවිද්‍යාල වලට සාපේක්ෂව ඉතාමත් මිත්‍රශීලී අධ්‍යයන අනධ්‍යයන කාර්ය මණ්ඩලයක් අපට මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයේ ඉන්නවා. ඉතින් ආදරණීය නංගී මල්ලියේ ඔයගොල්ලන්ගේ අනාගතය සුරක්ෂිතව සහ සාක්ෂාත් කර ගැනීම සඳහා මේ විශ්වවිද්‍යාලයෙන් ඉතාමත් වැදගත් වැඩ කොටසක් අනිවාර්යයෙන්ම සිදු වේවි ඔබලත් අප සමග එකතු වී සිටින්න පුංචි ඕදොනක් දින ගමින් මම මගේ කතාව අවසන් කරන්නම් උගත මනා ශිල්පයමයි මතු රැකෙනවා අප සතුව තිබෙන ඕනම දෙයක් අපට ඕනෑම මොහොතක නැති වෙන්න පුළුවන් නමුත් අප උගත් දේ අපට කිසි විටකත් නැති වන්නේ නැහැ ඉතින් ආදරණීය නංගී මල්ලියේ බෙහෙවින්ම ස්තුතියි මේ වැඩසටහන සම්බන්ධ වුණාට සුබ දවසක් සියල් දෙනාටම තෙරුවන් සරණයි Thank you. With that, we have reached the end of the ceremony. To deliver the word of thanks, I cordially invite Professor HMJC Pitawala, the coordinator of the integration program 2022. Thank you very much. Uh, Vice Chancellor sir and all the ladies and gentlemen, uh, before uh, deliver the vote of thanks as the coordinator, I have a few messages to students. So tomorrow onwards, we will start the, uh, the rest of the integration program. So uh, um, to, tomorrow morning, we will have a session and after uh, that 1 pm we will start the introduction to departments so through that you can get more details about your study programs so we will upload all the information in the website and also we will email the program to you uh, actually uh, to success today's event i must thank our vice chancellor sir as usual your guidance support and presence today was very important for us and also especially your valuable speech you delivered for our students and also deans of the faculties your support and presence today and uh, speeches about introduce your faculty was very valuable for our students and also registrar it was also very nice and valuable speech thank you very much coming and also delivering a speech for our students acting librarian bursa all the academic and administrative staff members your presence was a enlightenment for the event thank you very much for coming today senior student counselor your speech and presence was uh, very successful for us president of student union uh, your presence today was a uh, introduction introduction to our new students thank you very much and of course behind me there were four faculty coordinators without your support we cannot success this event however the program is going ahead so i believe that your maximum support will give to me as the coordinator of integration program this time and also mr tisar and technical team your valuable support Uh, and also mr chamal and team broadcasting through youtube thank you very much your team and finally i must thank mr christopher for supporting us for for the announcing so thank you very much enjoy the university life uh, my dear students so as i mentioned uh, all the information and uh, uh, the coming events we will upload into the website and also we will uh email you thank you very much and have a nice day
Thank you very much, sir. With that, we mark the end of today's proceedings. We were honored to have this occasion graced by you, and we deeply appreciate your presence here. Let us now all rise for the national anthem. And to the students, congratulations on becoming a part of the UW family. We wish you all the very best. Have a wonderful day ahead.